At Deliverance Church in Langata, Nairobi, President William Ruto was keen to defend their employment pledge to the youth, which appear to be facing headwinds one year down the line since the Kenya Kwanzaa government came into office. To read the interpretation, President Ruto pointing out that his government was keen on implementing its key agenda of addressing the unemployment issue among its strategies is the implementation of the housing levy under the Finance Act of 2023, which the president says will be a turnaround for the country. Ya kwanza, sio manyumba zaidi, ni ajira zaidi. Hapa Nairobi peke yake, mpango yetu ni kwamba in the next five years, tuwe tumejenga at least nyumba elfu miambili. The president hopes that besides employment, the housing fortunes for the country will be different. If we can support, support those uh, uh, areas that Nairobi requires because you know Nairobi tunakura mfuko la mfuko ikekauka likubaya la unajua vijana wa kule ucha au sasa zingine watakura mboga hapo kwa shamba viazi ziko hapo kwa shamba lakini hapa mfuko ikekauka kumeumana Ruto is pledging to do away with Kibera slums in 10 years as part of his housing pledge and doing previous government's efforts on affordable housing in the slum area there will be no slum Hii tutakuwa tumeibadilisha imekuwa estate. Na Mungu atatujalia ita, itafanyika. Mnaonielewa? Na ndio mliona tulisukuma kabisa mambo ya housing fund. Hata wamenipikia kelele kidogo lakini watakuja kugundua ya kwamba hii ni kitu mzuri. In his budget proposals, Treshari Sears Njugunandongo made it clear in June that the government has mobilized resources to support construction of affordable housing units and social housing units. Part of the housing budget, 3.2 billion shillings was set to go towards the affordable housing program. This is in line with President Ruto's plans to deliver 200,000 affordable housing units annually to Kenyans. There is somebody within. Ruto says that among plans to edge out unemployment involves bilateral labor agreements with 12 countries, including Saudi, that will employ half a million of job seekers targeting the semi skilled, skilled, and professionals. Uh, what were you eh, when I say when I touch you funny case? Saudi Arabia, I mean, I end next month because Babu to Mesha Kubaliana and I end up where I say when I touch you funny case, Elfumiatano. In addition, the president called for the construction of ICT hubs in every ward so that youths can be trained in digital space, noting that the companies like Google, Intel and Apple have confirmed that they have job opportunities for around 300 Kenyans. We have negotiated with many companies. Mimi nilikuwa Marekani juzi. Nimetembelea kampuni ya Google. Nimetembelea kampuni ya Intel. Nimetembelea kampuni ya Apple. Hizo kampuni zote wanatafuta wafanyikazi katika mtandao. Wanasema tupatie wafanyikazi 1100, 1200, 1300 na hawa wafanyikazi ni hawa vijana wa Kenya. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja on his part pledged to tame Nairobi water shortage by 2026. If we keep doing that Nairobi will go to the dogs. We can't allow that kind of anarchy. So, Excellency, on that fight against graft, we're behind you. That we must do the right thing as leaders. Sakada also weighed on illegal water connections, which he said was responsible for county water issues. Corruption cartels were also put on notice. But we will not accept it. Zile public utilities zote ambazo zilikuwa zimechukuliwa siweze kurejea ndio watoto wetu wapate pale pa kuchezea mashule zetu zizikwe grabbed tuhakikishe kuwa public utility is maintained Martin Opio K24 TV Nairobi